holiday season to raise money for people in need right here in our community. And today, CBS2, we're teaming up with the Salvation Army to help with what they're doing. It's absolutely the sound of the season, and I'm going to be going live, ringing the bell from the corner of State and Washington later this morning during our 9 a.m. newscast. Got to get my arm all warmed up. Joining <laughs> us now is Brian Duell with the Salvation Army to share with us this long-standing tradition, how it got started. Good morning, Brian. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. Good morning, guys. Great. Tell us about the history and the origins of the Red Kettle Mission and the Salvation Army because we, we've become so accustomed to seeing it each and every holiday season. When did it get started? So the very first Red Kettle in the United States rolled out in 1891 in San Francisco. Um, there was an officer in San Francisco who wanted to feed uh, the poorest people in the city, uh, you know, 500 poorest people. He just didn't have the, the funds to do it. Uh, so he decided to put out one red kettle to try and fund the very first dinner. Um, and that was 131 years ago. Uh, the first kettle in Chicago showed up in 1901, so about 10 years later. Uh, and since then, it's just, it's exploded. It, it, you know, they're all around the world now. Um, and the money raised goes to fund programs for the salvation I mean not just during the holiday season but year-round Wow so how much money are you guys hoping to raise this year and you mentioned it goes to programs what exactly is the money used for so our overall Christmas goal uh, all, all fundraising in in the area is 17.5 million three million of that we're hoping comes from the red kettles uh, the programs this goes to fund um, you know we, it's our mission First of all, to help everybody in need whenever they need it. So uh, a couple of our key staples are, you know, trying to end hunger and homelessness. So we have our homeless shelters, we have the food banks, we have mobile feeding, um, we have rent, mortgage and utility assistance. Uh, we also have uh, emergency disaster services programs. Uh, we do substance abuse rehabilitation. Uh, we have after school programs for kids. We have summer camps. Uh, we do music education. Uh, we provide gifts for children in the Christmas season who don't have gifts. We do, you know, Thanksgiving and holiday uh, feeding boxes where we pack food and give it to families who, you know, need a Christmas dinner. Uh, we do job placement. We do veteran services. We do human trafficking support. Uh, we, there's a lot of stuff that the Salvation Army does. I mean, it's just endless, the services you provide. If you had to put a number on it, what's the percentage of, of fundraising goals that are met just from this Red Kettle initiative? Um, I would say we're usually pretty tight on our, on our goals and where we, where we end up. Um, I mean, obviously, the pandemic has changed things for all charities the last couple of years. Um, so we kind of always, you know, we throw out the last couple of years just because um, the way things were with people not out and about, um, but then people also had, you know, more money with, you know, the government, you know, subsidies and, and you know, that kind of thing. So I would say generally we, when we set a goal, we know that we can hit our goal. That's that, awesome. Absolutely. You know, Brian, thank you so much. Brian Duell with the Salvation Army. This just goes to show you that all those little coins that we put in, it can all really add up to make a difference. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Absolutely. But if you come see me, we like that soft money. We, we, we prefer that <laughs> Or the that gold to, coins. Uh, what well, if you get a gold coin? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Breaking news. If you'd like to support the cause for the Salvation Army, you can use that QR code right there on your screen. Nice and big. You can't miss it. And this is going to be throughout our 9 a.m. newscast. It will donate directly to CBS. CBS2's virtual kettle, or if you're in the area, of course, come by and see me. Come say hi, wave, and drop off a donation at the corner of State and Washington and put it right in that red kettle bucket or donate at any Salvation Army red kettle that you come across in your neighborhood or in your travels. And this afternoon at 4 o'clock, our Albert Ramon is going to be there at State and Washington as well. Yeah, that'll be so fun.